morning, you guys. <laughs> I'm not quite sure about this. <laughs> My body and brain are saying, this is Saturday. You don't need to do this. And then I remember my goals and I say, yeah, <laughs> we're doing this. So if you've been with me for a while, and that's a year, a month, I mean more than a month, months, and you've got a really good base and a really good understanding of our process and our strategies and our cueing for safe and effective exercise. And um, we wanna make more gains. Um, we add an extra workout that targets the specific muscle um, that we're intending. I chose glute because in general, as females lose fat, and you will lose fat because you're doing your exercises every day, you're doing your training, and you're getting your food in line. Um, women lose fat on their boobs <laughs> and their butt. And because the butt is such a big muscle, it, it's, it's such an energy user um, that I think it's important, for me anyways, <clears throat> to really target that muscle. Now for a year, we've been probably even less active than usual, maybe sitting more people at home or work that, you know, those glutes aren't getting used um, like they're used to. So what ends up happening is you get this flat, flat butt, or Mac, please go, right? So we want to um, build those muscles so that they'll burn more fat, they'll use more energy, and then get a more shapely glute, okay? I mean, as I age as well, I see that whole thing happening where um, <clears throat> it's just not so perky anymore. <laughs> Things don't fit the same. Anyways, so that's my rationale behind our, our back day. I'm going to take this session really easy because as you can see, we're back here in my studio and I just wanted to give us a flip, something to say, hey, we're doing something new. It's nothing new. All right. I am going to use some of my um, barbells and don't freak out because you can use. <clears throat> Am I good? Dawn, um, I just got another flash message on there. I think I should be fine. I don't know what it was. If I lost um, internet for a second, I don't know. Am I good? Okay, so let's go on real uh, quick here. Our first section is activation. We want to wake up the fibers and... Um, uh, you know, get them prepared for the work ahead. So with these activa this activation, it's just our banded laterals, all right? Um, and we have done this before, but as I said in my post, I'm gonna add some cues so that we really focus on hitting the glute, okay? Um, so, all good, thank you. So I'm starting back here without any bands. And my cue to you will be external rotation. For most of this work, externally rotating at the hip is gonna pop those muscles up, wake them up, and focus on them. So let's go for our first um, squat walk. It'll be five, five, and squat for five. Five, five, squat for five. Five, five, squat for five. Go two or three each way and then rest. Um, down low this time. So oftentimes I'll just cue you to go in the range of um, motion that you're, you're comfortable with. At this, in these sessions, I want you to work at, and you guys have to understand that there will be a progression as well. I want you to work at low, um, toes externally rotated, that's gonna hammer that upper glute area and just squat, walk, and wake up all those muscles. Good, and then five down here, I'd like to stay down low. And again, you're really gonna feel the burn here, perhaps in your legs because we just did that workout. And then, Five and 
five, whatever um, uh, number of reps that you have room for. Stay low, stay externally rotated, and stay in the game. Five, four, three, two, one. I've got to come up for a little break. So I am prepared not to be able to do this whole workout because it's our first time here. You know, there's a lot of adjustments and brain engagement that needs to come in when we're, we're increasing the intensity and the volume of work. And um, you have to give yourself a break, just like you had to at the very beginning of working out. And I'm gonna do one more set of two, three, four, and five. And back for five. And five here. I'm gonna take a little break. And um, I think we'll do one more. I called for four, but I think we'll handle three. Um, the banded reverse hyper, you're gonna use whatever you usually use at home, your bench, a chair. I've got my um, plyo box set up. Um, down low, toes externally uh, rotated so that the hips are externally rotated and the glute engages. Good. Five and five. And five. Good. Okay, so there's our first set of, of uh, walk squat. Here comes our um, frog reverse hyper. You gotta give your brain and your body a break, adding a new um, training session on a day that you don't usually work out. It's all playing again. All that stuff that plays at the beginning or God knows even each time you show up for a workout, your brain's saying, no, this isn't right. So hang in there. Frog. Now my hips are gonna connect there, okay? To whatever, if you have a chair or a bench, I'm gonna hang on pretty good. Soles of my feet together. If I can, I'm going all the way down and all the way up. Good. Whew. So I believe the reps for that one call for um, 12 to 20 reps. You know, when we put the band on, that's gonna be a different story too. So now we're on the banded glute bridge adduction and that is simply, again, with your feet externally rotated, you're just going to take it all the way up, squeeze and down. Feeling it already in those cheeks, those little dimple areas, and on the upper glute hump. And 12. Nice. 
So you'll recognize this series of exercises. I often put it in the middle or at the end of a, um, a leg day. And I'm positioning it at the beginning once again. To reiterate, we want to fire up the muscles that we're going to hammer in the subsequent work, uh, workout, okay? So that is the point right here. Waking it up, bringing awareness from your brain into that muscle group. <sighs> here we go. Banded lateral squat walk, five, five, five squats. So it might be less, less reps this time with the band on. Just be an objective observer. You know, you're not judging yourself, not saying, I'm no good at this. No kidding, you're not supposed to be good at it. We are making our way towards um, better movement patterns and more strength, okay? We're not, we're in kindergarten right now. All right, so my feet are externally rotated. If you just give yourself a pump there, you'll see up here, glutes, all right, engaged. Take it down, good, there, and squat walk. Four and five, one way, five the other way. Stay low. My body keeps wanting to pop way up. One, two. And five. I gotta take a little rest. Whew. Whew. Let's go. Just like day one. Huh. One more set. Whoa. <laughs> when you're ready, external rotation at the hips. Toes are pointing out slightly. Staying as low as you can possibly go. knees are caving right in at that last one. That's fine. I'm just making um, an observation now. How do I feel? How's it working? Whew. It's working good. Banded frog hypers. Again, just by virtue of your soles being put together, your hips are externally rotated, and you're nailing the glute muscle you need to. Banded glute bridge abduction. So that's, um, I don't like to say pulse, but wrap it out as best you can. Here we go. And 10, 10, 
the last two were subpar. All right, so I don't expect this last round to be very good either. I might go four and four and four for two rounds, right? And then I'm just gonna take note of where I am today and down the road a couple weeks. You know, the other thing that would be a dynamite thing to do because um, it's visuals that we're looking for here. And you'll see with strength gains as well, but to take pictures are the best, is the best way to watch for changes. The scale is unreliable, to say the least. Not one of my biggest tools. All right, let's do this. And then we're moving into uh, hip thrusts. Good. Low and go. Five. And five. Let's go for one more set of those. We'll work up to the three to four. No, no. You're fine up there. Whew. No. No. Go. Thank you. Okay. Good. Let's go. Banded frog reverse hyper hips. Soles of your feet and lift and lower. Go through that full range. Oh, I was trying for eight. I only got seven. Goodness. Glute abduction. All right, and then we're going to move over to hip thrust. You'll have a dumbbell, most likely. If you have access to barbells, let's start moving into um, some variety of equipment, especially for the people that have full gyms at home. And 10 for me. I don't know what that was supposed to be. <laughs> It was supposed to be 12 to 20. Fat chats, we're getting to 20 today. <laughs> Alrighty, nice and easy. Let's make the transition to our next exercise, which is going to be a glute bridge that we just did, but you're elevated on a bench, on a chair, on a stool, something sturdy, your weight, weight bench. I've got my, um, uh, Reebok step today. I often do them right on my uh, on my um, my rack because I have that platform. But I thought I'd call myself out here a little bit so you could see that band can go. It can go completely. All right. 
Um, you might need padding right here for your hip thrust, okay? So, if you're using a dumbbell, it's beside you so that you don't have to go too far to put it here. If you're using a barbell, you can roll it up. Usually this is a little higher and I can roll under it. So I'm gonna have to kind of um, hike it up, which I don't love doing. All right, so this is going to be placed on my hips and I'm going to do those. All right, see my upper body, my eyesight remains straight ahead. My chin, my head doesn't move, okay? I am going to stay up here engaged. What's gonna happen is I'm going to thrust and really squeeze those glutes at the top. Externally rotated slightly as well, got it? And we're gonna go um, eight to 10 reps. You're just gonna see where you're at. Your glutes can handle a lot of weight and we're gonna take a lot of rest or relative amount of rest in between sets so that we can come back really fresh for the next one. Oh my goodness. Here we go. All right. If you have the barbell, I don't know if that coffee's gonna spill. That would be tragic. Um, center it. You might wanna hold on here. If not, usually that balances out pretty good. And eight. All right. Release any tension in your neck. Take a good rest. Come back at it. Once again, if you're using the dumbbell placed on your hips, all right, and you can take uh, quite a bit of weight. You know, and I'm talking 15, 20, 25 pounds. Uh, you just need uh, padding in there sometimes for your hip, hip joints, hip bones. All righty, let's go. rest once again with your neck and head and eyes facing forward tension can build in your shoulders and in your neck so ease off there let's go two more sets here I'm getting eight reps out this time just gonna mark that down and see how I'm feeling along with the amount of weight I'm using and then I just expect from week to week to make small gains. Building muscle takes a lot of time, patience, food, rest and recovery. So this one you gotta be patient for and I, I find it almost relaxing just to know I don't have like this goal I have to achieve tomorrow. <laughs> it's like, uh. ahead I'd rather get to some more of these movements within half hour to 40 minutes so I'm going to take this down to three three sets and then we're going to move on to the barbell or dumbbell back squat back squat means that your load is back there uh, if you're using dumbbells you're going to put the load on your shoulder now the interesting 
twist with this um, barbell back squat is I'd like it into a very slight lean forward. So the lean doesn't come from here. The lean comes from driving your hips back and engaging those glutes and then holding it in a slight lean forward. And then I'm going into my squats, okay? And I'm not gonna come all the way up. So if you're using dumbbells, same story. Be sure that you're confident in the stability of your low back. Weights on my shoulders. Let's do one set with you this way. All right. Back squat. So my weights are on my shoulders to the back um, a half of my body as much as I can. Um, driving my hips backwards pulls me forward ever so slightly. Now my glutes are going to be targeted. reps there. Okay, so for you guys with access to a barbell, it's just a variation that's going to affect your muscles differently, um, it's going to affect the signals differently, and it's just a nice change for your body. All right, if you're with dumbbells, you're great. You're good to go. All right, so for my dumbbell, this should be up a little higher. I'm doing the same thing. First of all, I usually go the other way. I will go the other way the next time. Um, I'm gonna take that weight up onto my shoulders, all right? And this is where my brain is engaging with the muscles and, um, and, and the weight. Now this is where I drive my hips back slightly, okay? So this isn't a traditional squat. It is a glute-focused squat. Drive the hips back and go into my squat. I'm going to turn it around for my next set, but I want you to be aware, you could use a dowel, put that dowel on your back and go through the motions before you add a load to it, all right? All right? It's just a rehearsal. Um, Big workouts like this, a lot more rest, a lot more reflection, a lot more focus on my next set. Okay, so this isn't one of those aerobics classes where it just neatly, tidily moves into the next one and then it moves into the next one. In between your weight training sets, yeah, you're recovering, you're focusing. We're not counting beats. Here we go. So. Place that barbell or your dumbbells in a comfortable position on your shoulders. I'm going to, from my standing tall position, drive my hips back slightly. All right, that brings me into hmm, a bit of a lean forward and then I'm going into my squats. Good. 
So even with that slight forward lean, I'm still driving through my heels and transferring that power through the back of my body. We got this. We're just gonna do the sprint to Bulgarian and the band kickback, all right? We uh, did stiff legs on Wednesday, so I'm gonna leave that one alone. It was an afterthought anyways. <laughs> Here we go. Dumbbell or barbell, back. It's on the back, hitting the back. Squat. Get eight rep sets out of that. But surprisingly, my body feels warmed up for it finally after what one, two, third, third set of exercises. Alrighty. So that's three sets for the barbell, dumbbell, um, back squat. I want to move into the sprinter Bulgarian. Um, we did Bulgarians on Wednesday, and I will I'll give you the difference when we want to glute focus. All right. Again, we're going to be slightly leaning forward, so that foot is going to be elevated, right, just like usual. And what we did, what we do for a traditional. Uh, Bulgarian is just up and down, right? This time we're going to do that forward lean with weights or without, and we're going to glute focus on the sporting leg, all right? From there, we are going to do a band or not kick. And what I'd like to do with this one is take it out to the side a little bit once again to hammer that upper uh, portion of the glute and that is called the band kickback. I'm going to put my band on. This gets a little bit awkward because you want to move, you want to do right, right, left, left um, to overload that muscle group because we're at a point where we can be and should be overloading as long as you're paying attention to how you feel, okay? So um, take your time with that. And let's start with um, whatever. Just remember what you're starting for. I'm gonna start with my left leg working here, and then for the band, it's gonna work. Got it? So I'm in position here. If I'm using weights, um, they're slightly in front. Eight, and then whether you use the band or not, you're going to do a kick out back. There. So, this is difficult with the band. I've been messing with it. One, two, Okay, no fear if that feels really weird and 
like you can't control it. Like I said, this is almost like going back to the beginning and feeling that weird, awkward, I can't do this, I'm not coordinated. And uh, truth told, that's what it takes. All right. Now we're on the other side for both of those exercises. I'm gonna get in position first. Get my knee set up in a safe position. And then I'm gonna keep that forward lean and I'm gonna drive it up. Out of that I'm going to turn my butt to you this time so you can see with with the band or not and if you don't have this particular band you know you're going to have to jimmy around a little bit with the stuff you do have I'm just wrapping that around my foot a once to um, keep it um, anchored and then I'm going to just do that donkey kick externally rotated foot and up to the side a bit. One, two, three, four. Okay. It does, it feels really awkward at first. Okay, we just got two more and we're out of here, okay? If you need to, now I understand. Um, don't get to any point, to the point in any workout where you, you know, you hate it so much you probably will never come back, all right? Right now we should be feeling pretty <laughs> proud of ourselves. And thank God it's almost over and that wasn't so bad, all those thoughts. But if you're going, I hate this so much, it hurts so much, I don't like it, I'm not coming back, then you gotta cut it short, okay? You gotta find something that you enjoy about your workouts. Um, this one first, right? Okay. Slight lean forward, I'm not coming all the way up, I'm really thinking about my glute right now. Finish up the set. Make it even. Okay, you gotta change. There we go. You don't want to do the same leg twice.
I can't do it today. Go back now. Go. Ooh. Not on glute day. <laughs> okay, we got one more step. I'm doing this. If you're ready to go, stretch it out, eat properly, uh, relax, and recover. Got it? Yeah, got it. Good. Almost there. I can taste breakfast now. last side. I wanted to quit at six there. Map it out. Go. Thank you. Go. Oh. All right. Almost feeling a little nauseous. I'm thinking, I'm looking forward to breakfast, but I'm probably not going to feel like eating it. So I might have to wait 20 minutes after this workout so all this passes and so I can get my food in. The option isn't, oh my God, I don't feel like eating right now. Um, I'll wait till my next meal. <laughs> That's not the option. The option is to settle your stomach until you can get that food down. Yep, okay, this is it. I'm excited now. <laughs> in there. Just be aware that when you focus so directly on the muscles that surround those hip joints, they're going to be affected usually negatively at first. <laughs> um, change isn't always comfortable, so you need to determine, and I know you know who I'm talking to, Julie, <laughs> um, how far you can go with these, these movements and how slowly you have to progress and how much recovery you need in between, all right? Last, last one. Oh, okay. Gotta watch this hip. It's acting funny. A lot more grunting on these days. I, I'm a noisy train, trainer, but on heavy days like this. Now it was funny, this hip stayed real good on that last set because I had brought my focus into it and really monitored it as I was going through the movement. So attention, attention to your weak areas. Bring it strength, okay? I'm gonna sign off you guys. 45 minutes, probably be a lot less than this in subsequent training sessions. I'm gonna try and keep it back here. We're gonna go glutes for a little while. I wanna really hammer those. And then somehow later on, I will add um, supplementary work for other body parts as well. While keeping our general program going for the whole group, okay? Have a great day, Saturday. 
I will um, put the boards out on Mon uh, tomorrow, Sunday, and we're back at it on Monday. Thank you. All good. It'll take me one second to walk. <laughs> you can sign off now. Hit the showers, gang. Woo. Yeah. Stretches. I'm definitely going to move into some of these and some foam rolling. So, hey, take those pictures. All right. See ya. You're welcome, Trish. Have a great afternoon.